the Dassault Rafale literally meaning gust of wind, and burst of fire in a more military sense is a French twin-engine, Canard Delta Wing, multi-role fighter aircraft designed and built by Dassault Aviation. Equipped with a wide range of weapons, the Rafale is intended to perform air supremacy, interdiction, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, in-depth strike, anti-ship strike and nuclear deterrence missions. The Rafale is referred to as an omniroll aircraft by Dassault. In the late 1970s, the French Air Force and Navy were seeking to replace and consolidate their current fleets of aircraft. In order to reduce development costs and boost prospective sales, France entered into an arrangement with UK, Germany, Italy and Spain to produce an agile multi-purpose fighter, the Eurofighter Typhoon. Subsequent disagreements over work share and differing requirements led to France's pursuit of its own development program. Dassault built a technology demonstrator which first flew in July 1986 as part of an eight-year flight test program, paving the way for the go-ahead of the project. The Rafale is distinct from other European fighters of its era in that it is almost entirely built by one country, involving most of France's major defense contractors, such as Dassault, Thales and Safran. Design Radar Signature Although not a full-aspect stealth aircraft, the cost of which was viewed as unacceptably excessive, the Rafale was designed for a reduced radar cross-section (RCS) and infrared signature. In order to reduce the RCS, changes from the initial technology demonstrator include a reduction in the size of the tail fin, fuselage reshaping, repositioning of the engine air inlets underneath the aircraft's wing, and the extensive use of composite materials and serrated patterns for the construction of the trailing edges of the wings and canards. 70% of the Rafale surface area is composite. Many of the features designed to reduce the Rafale's visibility to threats remain classified. Cockpit The Rafale's glass cockpit was designed around the principle of data fusion, a central computer intelligently selects and prioritizes information to display to pilots for simpler command and control. The primary flight controls are arranged in a hands-on throttle and stick HADAS, compatible configuration, with a right-handed side stick controller and a left-handed throttle. The seat is inclined rearwards at an angle of 29 degrees to improve G-force tolerance during maneuvering and to provide a less restricted external pilot view. An intelligent flight suit worn by the pilot is automatically controlled by the aircraft to counteract in response to calculated G-forces. Radar and Sensors the Rafale was first outfitted with the Thales RB2 passive electronically scanned multi-mode radar. Thales claims to have achieved increased levels of situational awareness as compared to earlier aircraft through the earlier detection and tracking of multiple air targets for close combat and long-range interception, as well as real-time generation of three-dimensional maps for terrain following and the real-time generation of high-resolution ground maps for navigation and targeting. In early 1994, it was reported that technical difficulties with the radar had delayed the Rafale's development by six months. In September 2006, Flight International reported the Rafale's unit cost had significantly increased due to additional development work to improve the RBE-2's detection range. Armaments and Standards Initial deliveries of the Rafale M were to the F-1. France 1, standard, these had been equipped for the air-to-air -air interceptor combat duties, but lacked any armaments for air-to-ground operations. Later deliveries were to the F-2 standard, which added the capability for conducting both air-to-ground and reconnaissance operations. The first F-2 standard Rafale M was delivered to the French Navy in May 2006. Starting in 2008 onwards, Rafale deliveries have been to the nuclear-capable F-3 standard, and it has been reported that all aircraft built to the earlier F-1 and F-2 standards are to be upgraded to become F-3S. Engines The Rafale is fitted with two Snecma M88 engines, each capable of providing up to 50 kN, 11,250 lbf, of dry thrust and 75 kN, 16,900 lbf, with afterburners. The engines feature several advances, including a non-polluting combustion chamber, single crystal turbine blades, powder metallurgy discs, and technology to reduce radar and infrared signatures. The M88 enables the Rafale to supercruise while carrying four missiles in one drop tank.
officers back in. Yeah, they're good. 